Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome uh, to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing okay. So, we're very, very close to something. Uh, for years and years in this whole rabid bull market, I refuse to believe that the action, no matter how aggressive the market has been, I refuse to believe that it had any comparison um, against the dot-com bubble. There was no way. In my mind, there was absolutely no way because when you go back, for all you guys who did trade during the dot-com era, you know, pretty much from 99 to about the middle towards the end of uh, 2000, okay, um, you saw a lot of interesting qualities. And those interesting qualities were $100 stocks would go to $400, $20 stocks would go to $100, $2 stocks would go to $20, and so forth and so on. So I kept on making, you know, I kept on trying to make a defense of the dot-com era versus what we're seeing now. And I'll be honest with you, you know, we're getting to the point of it's pretty darn close, okay? It really is close. And what I saw today, what we continue to see, um, the most irrational market um, that I've probably seen in nearly 21 years it's very, very close to, to the dot-com era. And when you look at the action over the last couple of days, and not only are you seeing, you know, very, very exaggerated moves, for example, like a Boeing that's gone from, you know, 156 to, you know, 234, right? You're talking about an 80-point move in, what, three, four days? You know, that's crazy, but okay, we get it. Uh, Tesla, we'll get to Tesla in a second. Just an absolute monster, finally... It finally did what it had to do today. Phenomenal move, just an absolute move. You know, we, we get it. You know, we get it when, a, you know, when an $800 stock goes up 50, 60 points, 70 points in two days. You know, we get like Amazon, for example, when the stock breaks out, potentially, you know, could see 2,600, 2,600. That part is understandable. Again, they're higher priced stocks. Retail is generally not involved. And, you know, it's very, very orderly. It's very, very understandable. But when you start getting into stocks that are going bankrupt, right? Like names like WLL, you know, that's gone from 92 cents to what? 359 in 24 hours. When you look at Chesapeake Energy in the last, what? Three days, the stock has gone from 12 to 77. You know, when you look at, for example, like BYND, and again, BYND, it's not a Chesapeake, it's not a WLL. Again, I understand it's a growth story. But when you get a move, for example, a consolidation move, and it finally broke out, very, very strong move, right? And you get a stock like this. And again, if you hate Tesla, boy, you're going to really hate this one, right? Going literally just in the last couple of months, you know, from 20, it's 84 after hours, Okay you're going to finally get some resemblance of what happened during the dot-com era. The difference is the internet was new, okay? It was groundbreaking. Uh, it wasn't, it was a generational first. What we're seeing here, it's not groundbreaking. Uh, it's not a generational first, but it is a generational first economy that literally is still in standstill. A lot of collapsing going on, a lot of businesses go away, but now we're completely at all-time highs. So. Again, and I think somebody, uh, I think somebody asked me, well, where isn't the market a little overextended uh, for the next move higher? And again, guys, I just keep on reiterating the points, especially to newer traders. There's no such thing anymore uh, as overbought and oversold. The, the closing price at four o'clock is fair value, okay? The last print of the day is when somebody is looking to buy it and when somebody's looking to sell it. So the, the idea of oversold, overbought, theoretically and logically makes sense, but it doesn't make sense in this market. So when you have stocks d doubling, like, you know, for doubling, triple, quadrupling in two, three days as they're about to file for chapter 11, well, how can you rationalize anything else? And again, this is definitely turning into one of the crazier markets I can remember probably ever, ever, you know, probably since the dot-com era. Yeah, I said it, you know, I said it. I, I've been trying to 
kind of keep it in for years. I've been trying to make excuses for the dot com error for years and years and years. But again, the proof is in the pudding. It's just an, an absolute uh, insanity. Uh, retail is chasing anything with a pulse. They're chasing it after hours because, again, you know, when a stock quadruples intraday, obviously you didn't have enough time intraday. You have to buy it after hours because it all makes sense. So, with all these factors, okay, the, the fuel is lit. The uptick in non farm uh, unemployment ticked up on Friday. Uh, you talked about Trump in the afternoon, talking about more possibility, more stimulus. It's just one after another after another. Every bullish domino uh, is just is just falling down. And again, you know, I, again, if you're a bear, again, I trade channels. You know, good, bad, or indifferent, I don't care. But when when the market's going, okay, you have to go with it. You can't make excuses. Uh, you can't try to rationalize. Just go with it, man. Just go with it. And uh, today. Uh, was a little bit different than th Friday. Okay, Friday, a lot of the beta names didn't participate. They were very, very weak. Today, a lot of na beta names didn't participate, were very, very weak. But the ones that went, and again, there's a common denominator by the names that went, they all confirm macro channels. And once they confirm those macro channels, we literally had three or four of, of the biggest moves that confirmed their channels on the board, which is absolutely phenomenal. Um, and I think going into tomorrow, okay, I, and again, and, and this is where I try to play daddy, right? I, I always try to play daddy. I, I always try to warn, like I always try to warn my kids and say, you look, there's always danger, right? There's always danger. You know, don't cross the street without looking on both sides, right? Don't ever, you know, don't ever pick up the phone and, you know, tell, you know, tell somebody, you know, you, you know, what, what you're doing or, you know, where you are, what you're at. Like, like there's a lot of don'ts. There's always things called stranger danger. And in a market like this, when you have so many big names over the last like month, just getting it wrong as far as timing and all, whatever the case may be, whether it's airlines and cruise ships and just an overall market exposure, this is a recipe for kind of like a twice in a lifetime uh, type of market. And, you know, when you go into it tomorrow, again, are there going to be great continuations tomorrow? Absolutely. Okay. Like I talked about it on the video, I, you know, I, I common sense, I said, look, you know, they might get a back test today in some of the indexes and nothing, not even close, but again, you don't need to be right. That's that, that's the great, great part about this market. You don't need to be right. You just have to be rational. And once you're rational and wait for confirmation, it's all good. And today, uh, we saw incredibly, Violent, right? I think that's the best way of saying it. You know, put it this way: when Amazon is the most tamed pivot of the day, rising twenty points, that's the most tamed tamed pivot of the of the day. Obviously, Microsoft woke up towards the end of the day. Apple woke up. We'll talk about that in a second. But again, the bull market marches on. Um, I think the value into tomorrow, anything that is super duper strong, like a Tesla. Uh, like a Beyond, like a, you know, like an Amazon, like an Apple. I, I think obviously the value is to try to get them if there's a weak opening into the rising 60 minute support. But the names that are kind of starting to base out and have been basing out now for like a week or so, a name like NVIDIA, you know, you have to watch. A name like NOW, it's a little, it's, I'm getting a little frustrated with the name. It's just, it doesn't want to start uh, breaking above the channel. Again, you still need to watch uh, Microsoft. You know, Microsoft, you, you need to watch uh, Apple, beautiful chart from a couple of days ago, started confirming back towards the end of the day as well. So names like this, you have to watch too low. Maybe if it wakes up in the next couple of days, you need to watch. But obviously, strength is strength is strength da, 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 is strength. So let's talk about today um, again, just violence. I, I think that's the best way of saying it. Um, just absolute violence. So here it is. We just we, it was just basically one by one by one. And the ones that confirmed did, did incredibly well. Um, and again, this really shows you kind of the conversation we had over the weekend. That again, you don't need to prostitute your money on the days that you know your process is just not being spotlighted. You know, today we waited, we had our game plan, we waited, uh, they confirmed, and usually good things would happen. So let's talk about it. So again, like I said, probably the most tame. Tame name on the whole board, uh, Amazon. Uh, the sneaky pivot was 2510, uh, 2525. Both confirmed today. This is the highest close in the whole formation. So here was Amazon. We started talking about 2510. It confirmed 2510. 
it confirmed 2525. We're seeing now uh, weekly and next week uh, call buyers coming in for the 2600, 2700 calls. So Amazon looks phenomenal. Uh, continuation for tomorrow. Again, we've been talking about this 900, 910 level, man, for what three weeks. Uh, news came in, you know, news came out this morning. Uh, there was a pretty good uptick sales in 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 China sales. Again, if you're a perma baron Tesla, enough, enough. Well, it's not really anticipated. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, right? Again, at what point do you turn around and say, "Look, I'm wrong," right? I'm wrong. You know, I say I'm wrong every single day. But again, at one point. Do you turn around and say, look, I'm wrong with the stock. I'm wrong with my thesis. I'm just wrong. I'll leave it alone. Go on to the next one. So uh, 900, uh, 910, huge levels. You know, we discussed this in the nausea. Uh, it gapped up today to 900, okay? Uh, gapped up today to 900, broke the 910, opening range highs. I, I, was, in, I was in this thing three times today. It took about a 12 and change out of it. Uh, took the opening range high at 920, went to went as high as 933. My highest sale was 927. Uh, bought it back, uh, bought it back off that sneaky pivot, off that 824 that went to 830. So that was good. And what I liked about Tesla today, okay, what I really, really liked about Tesla today was not only was it very smooth on the way up, but it was very, very smooth on the bounce spots. If you look at the rising support, both on the five uh, on the five minute cycle and on the 60 minute supply, they gave you bounces at uh, 915, at 920, at 926, at 930, and they're just an absolute rocket launch uh, towards the end of the day. I thought it was gonna get to 960, had a shot uh, by the you know by the end of the week. You know, we're talking about here 952, 954 here. Uh, after the close, you got Ron Barron, one of the biggest uh, bulls gonna be on CNBC tomorrow. And to, to say the aggressive call buying on Tesla today, uh, I think that's an understatement. You saw today the 950s, the 960s, the 1000, the 1050s, the 1100s, the 1170s, weeklies, weekly call buying. And again, when this thing runs, lights out for the bears. So, I, I, I mean, there's nothing left to say about Tesla. Just absolutely uh, unbelievable. Uh, Apple woke up late, but it woke up, okay, uh, 331.80. Uh, 332 needs to build. Here was Apple, broke out on Friday, rested today the majority of the day. Here's the 331, 80, 332, and it went to uh, 3360. I still like it for tomorrow. Um, beyond, it, it, again, talking about another one. Uh, BYND, uh, 138 is Friday's highs, needs to reclaim and build. Again, by, by, I, when I'm telling you, I thought it was going to have a shot tonight to 143, 144 today, that, that's what I thought was gonna happen. Like I did not think it was, you know, here's the 38. I did not think it was gonna take out the 52 week high today. I just didn't, okay? 42, 43, that was the previous day's high. I got it, you know, I get it, right? Here's the 42 and it just kept on going and going. And once it got, you know, once it confirmed the 47, 55, 52 week high, I mean, the damn thing uh, went to 163. Just, just sick, just absolutely sick move again. This is where you have to, again, start whispering the word dot com, dot com, right? Dot com. Uh, 357 never got to NVIDIA. Boeing, I was looking for a reversal today. Never came close. Uh, BlackBerry, okay? BlackBerry, again, not the biggest move in the world, but again, for all you guys who are trading these smaller names, uh, 570 needs to build. Here was BlackBerry. Uh, here was BlackBerry, took out the 570, went to like a 584, still looks higher. Uh, NOW, I'm still patiently waiting for that. I mean, again, if you, if for all you guys who hate Tesla, you're gonna really hate this stock. Uh, I don't even think this this thing even even sells anything yet. But uh, I went on their website. It actually looks pretty cool. They make like um, like the pickup, like the not not the pickup, like the 18 wheeler trucks. They also make like military grade, like one of these Humvees, all electric, kind of cool looking, by the way. Uh, 4230. 4250 needs to build and you know one would say it built just saying one would say it built and not only did it close at 73 okay the stock went to 95 after the close so dot com right just saying dot com right just saying uh, Microsoft towards the end of the day, 187, 80, 188 needs to build. Here's Microsoft uh, breaking out here. Uh, still like it for tomorrow. Here's the 187, 80, 188. 
uh, closed at 188.55. Uh, definitely looks higher for tomorrow. And then we kept on saying 930 on deck, take on the way up, and then 950 on deck. Uh, just huge. It's just absolutely huge uh, all over the place. This thing is exploding. Just again, very, very dot com X. Obviously, I put a whole bunch of cruise ships and airlines for possible reversals. Uh, they never even came close. So uh, bull market, man, bull market uh, till it's not. And again, it's just 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 phenomenal uh, levels today, phenomenal pivots. And I kept on saying, oh, look, for those of you guys who are holding Tesla overnight, and this is at 930. We had this conversation literally not at 9.30 in the morning, $930. I said, look, for all you guys who are holding Tesla into overnight for a possible 960 push, just take the, you know, take it for, take it for the, the, the money you made today, not any, any new capital. The damn thing is almost at 960 after the close. So what are you going to say? Just absolute craziness. Uh, the bull, bull market lives on. Again, I'm not naive to, you know, to think this market's going to be like this forever. Um, I thought dot com was going to be here forever and wah, 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 it wasn't. Uh, but again, while it's here, be prudent, okay? Be responsible. Um, but again, do not make mistakes. Do not uh, make excuses. Just trade the price action that you have instead of the price action that you want. Guys, God bless. Have a great night. I'll see you. Congratulations all. for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.